Hi, Trini. Hi, Lucy. Look, look at that fabulous colour you're wearing. <gasps> and I wonder why. Why? Well, a lot of you have asked to talk about colour, and I love colour. There was a time when I wore a lot of black many, many years ago, but I thought it was time we started. This is going to be a series of about three or four about colour. Absolutely. And you wear colour every day. Yes. I very rarely see you wear black. I wear black very occasionally and sometimes, recently, I wore black. I woke up and I felt a bit having a bad morning and I put black on. I went to the office and I remember how it made me feel. And by lunchtime, luckily I live, my home is close to my office, I rushed back and I put on a sequin suit because I then thought to myself, I will only wear black when I feel great about myself because I think it just exasperates a dark mood. But it, if you like black and you feel chic in it, when you're feeling good and you feel your skin is great and you're glowing, then, and you suit it, and you suit it, then you can wear it, in okay. my opinion. Women in their 50s and 60s might have grown up with, I think it was called the House of Colour, but it was a woman years and years ago who said we're autumn, spring, winter or summer. So quite a few women who still follow that, and there's lots of ages of women who follow it, say, Trini, are you a autumn or are you this? And I thought it's very complicated too because a lot of people thought, are they summer or winter or, you know, it was, it was very tricky. So Susanna and I wrote one of our books. It took me a year of researching about colour to do this, these chapters in the book, and it was my favourite chapters in the book. What's the book called? Um, and the book is called What You Wear Can Change Your Life. Uh -huh. So when I did this book, I thought, okay, let's make it a bit simpler. So I'm going to just say, and this is what I also use in makeup, that you can be cool, mid or warm. When you do Match to Me on Trinity London, that will help you decide what colours you suit in your wardrobe, just to say. Oh. Yeah. And we're going to soon add on a barometer of cool, mid, warm. But Basically, think about your skin, hair and eye and think, are they predominantly warm or cool? So I look at my hair, which has got a little bit of warmth in it, all right? And I know it looks a tiny bit warm, but if I dye my hair, it can easily lift to red. So that shows my hair has warmth. My eyes are totally neutral. They're not that clear, cool blue, and they're not that murky, gray blue. So they're neutral. And my skin is neutral. There's, it's what I call a rosy olive. So I'm not warm-toned caramel and I'm not cool-toned Celtic. You know, that's kind of very black hair, blue eye, pale skin. So mm -hmm. because two of my things are neutral, I sit in neutral. But once you know that, you can then look and think, okay, which colour suits me? So this is like when Suzanne and I did, I mean, I still love this book. Colour, look at us, how we dress then. I mean, tragic. But anyway, so it's like which colours don't suit and which colours suit. So like a really, this is also, do you notice my hair was a lot warmer? Yeah. So I was veering then to a lot more warmth because my hair really dominated in its redness. So that, therefore, this softer tealy blue suited me. I can now wear navy because my hair is a bit cooler. Susanna in a very bad, sick orange, and then in a bright orange. Yeah. She's kind of mid tony So cool and bright people, which would be on one hand, one end, one end of the scale, pale, pale skin, a bright blue eye and a black hair. Like, I, I, met, I met a lot of women in Ireland like that. And then down the other end of the scale, a, a sort of mid-brown skin tone with a black hair and a really cool brown eye. These colours are fantastic on you. And these colours are the worst on you, those sludgy colours. You need cool, sharp, emerald, bright blue, bright pink, bright purple, clear grey, black, white, great on you. So if you're warm toned, you suit the opposites in a way. You suit that lovely sort of dirty orange, rusty colours, olive green, a sort of what I call a sea green, mustard is delicious, a brownish burgundy, um, a sort of light cream. So you suit ecru as your white. And then you don't suit those sort of bright colours, the opposite really of um, what the cool people suited. Okay. Um, it's very simple. Then mid-tones, um, you suit those slightly dirty, brighter colours. So I'm mid, so I suit a slightly dirty fuchsia, which I think this is. Dirty raspberry, a sort of lemon yellow, but I can veer to a mustard if I wear something else with it. So that's kind of the sense of it. When I did that book, which is probably 2000. And 12, uh, 2002 or three, that really got me into understanding what colors go with what. So I've now done the rails, okay, a little bit by color. Now, obviously I have built up a color wardrobe yes. over many, 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 20 year old Missoni, uh, many years. 
I yes. Always, I always preempt, don't I? You do, but we we know, we all know, we all love it. We're <laughs> all here to watch and so, see. So. so we start with the really strong, scary colours, and then here I'm looking at all those people who might have black, and then we'll talk a lot about how you can introduce and are you should you wear silver or gold, and therefore which direction do you go for accessorising? Because I think that's important. But to give yourself inspiration for colours, I think if you wear any kind of print, see which prints you love. So I love this print. This is an old Zara dress. And I love to do print and print. And I always find, I was taught when you mix prints and prints to find two colours that are similar. Yeah. Um, that's why I can wear those two together. But this can give me inspiration to say that sort of weird green that I don't suit. Actually, if I wear it with a bright blue, that could be lovely. And it could take something in my wardrobe I bought in a mad panic that wasn't my best colour, but throw in my best colour, which yeah. also goes with it, and then allow that thing to be worn again in my wardrobe. OK, so you're taking those rules. Yeah. You're breaking them. A little you're, bit. Yes. But, but there's got to be a sure. domination of the colour that most right. suits you. So the blue is the more dominant colour in that dress. Exactly. To me, when I look at it, I see the blue before the green. Missoni is a wonderful Italian old label old family house of fashion and what they were magnificent of doing and they started off is they weave these silks into these patterns they're very well known for scarves and if you ever have the fortune to get a missoni scarf there's some lovely ones at liberties it, they will always be incredibly clever with how they put colors together so you might think to yourself, Ooh, don't know but then if i do that with that okay yeah there but you've got that color with it those actually are amazing together uh-huh and I uh, would only have thought of putting that together because I saw the scarf. I see. You see, so I just, it's like being adventurous. That's an extreme version of the adventurous place that I wish you to go to, ladies. <laughs> All right. But let's just start if you are somebody who wears predominantly black. So this is my rail of ladies who wear black. Actually, ignore that bit. And for me, I think that most of you who know me by now feel that I'm quite strong about saying, try not to wear black with colour. And when I say with colour, I mean with bright colours. So, you know, I love um, pink, but a lot of people might say, well, I'll wear black trousers. But I would say if you could, maybe wear a burgundy trouser just to give that warmth and beauty to it, all right? Like that. Whereas if I do a black trouser with it, to me, I sort of, I kill the pink. It's very hard. It's very hard. If you suit ecru, you know, I'm sure many of you, when you do black, you do a white shirt, so that's fine. Could you go and decide, do I wear white, cool white or warm white? That's the important thing to do. Um, and if you're cool, middle, warm tones, you'll have a sense that if you're cool tones, you wear white, white. If you're neutral tones, you wear, you can wear white, but also sort of ecru. And if you're warm tones, cream and ecru are better. I love a black and white suit. I think it's great, but I will introduce sequins. And I, I know that sounds a mad direction, but like if you went black and white, but instead you went black to a white sequin, that would be adding some energy into your outfit without mm -hmm. dipping into a color. But if mm -hmm. I put a, a wool gabardine against my face, it's quite hard because it absorbs all the color from my face. And if I put a velvet jacket, it's just softer because it reflects an element of light. And the same can be said again for changing your textures. So to go for a tweed, you know, is a sort of softer form. Um, and just with the pop of white, I love it. This is an old Zara number, but I just think that's a very chic, could be a Chanel jacket. When you wear black, you predominantly wear white or gray with it. I wear white or gray or with navy. it, and I wear texture. So I'd never wear a white shirt and a black jacket and black trousers and black shoes. I'd okay. never do that. So. If I wear black trousers and black jacket and a white shirt, I'd wear white trainers. Okay. It's like I'd lift it yeah. somehow and lift it from the bottom. We need to get back to colour. Yeah, we do. Because I, it's like I want you to step away from that palette, ladies. Yeah. So where can you go in gentle baby steps? If you suit plum and burgundy plum aubergine, they all sit in a family here. But those are still quite dark colours. And they can be cooler or warmer. So if I look at that, that's a really, that's a cool burgundy. That's getting a bit warmer because it's more aubergine-y. Um, and so if you're in the cool tones, that cool burgundy is great. But if you need warmer tones, that's lovely. Um, and then that's a kind of softer version because it's in a silk. But that's an alternative to black. And then if you're building a wardrobe around that, 
And you might say to yourself, I'm not gonna get the black trousers with the top, but I'm actually gonna build a wardrobe around some color. This shade can look beautiful with pink, different shades of pink. So I would do that pink with that, I think fab. Yeah. Um, it looks beautiful with orange, actually. I yes. love burgundy and orange. Can you see that? Yeah. Those colors together. When it looks off, yeah. is that because one of the colours doesn't sit in that cool, mid or warm Exactly, family. because they need to sit in a similar family. That's a very good point. This is quite a technical thing. This is technical, but, but it's I, great. But I want you to learn this technicality. This is an interesting example, because I was thinking, would this work? So when I was going to Dublin, this is the outfit I forgot to take <laughs> with me. But there's some green trousers. Now, that is a green for cool tone people. Yes. It's not 100% for me, is it? No. Okay. So it's going to sit below, because I want to wear the colour still and build an outfit. This is a sort of turquoise, which is a nice color on me. Yeah. It's still quite strong. Yeah. It's maybe more cool tone people, but I can wear it. So I've got that and that. So those two to me go together. So you would take that color that doesn't go in your family and put it on your lower Put it half. lower, further away from you. Right. Okay, and then I'll put that on the top. Okay. I've got those two colors together and they're sort of like, they work. One is a dirtier color and one is not so dirty, but better than black to bring this to life. Now, what do I go to next? This is the thing. I might do, I could do a little gold shoe like that, but I think probably I might want silver, I think, but I'm just putting on a shoe to have a shoe. So I had wanted to do this because then I wanted to be really green, green, green. All right, so let's just see if we think this works as a concept. You see, there's something there to me a bit off. Yeah, I Do agree. Do you see that? Yeah, totally. And I think it's because it's different families and it's not working. So that and that are too different a family. So to me, the coat is quite a warm green. It's a warm green and these are a bit cooler. Yeah. And I want something that brings the outfit together. You'll notice there are the colours in it. Do you see? The sort of... Yeah. I feel the tone of that can sit in with that. So there's something I love about that scarf. So I'm going to put that scarf on first. I knew there was a outfit I could <gasps> So ASOS are amazing at mad coats that bring outfits together. Thank God I saw it over there. So that is what I would do. That's perfect. Okay. And so what I've done is I've allowed both those colors to breathe together. It was a really tricky moment, but there's the green, which is going to then extend that coat up, um, extend the coat down and bring the outfit together. The Lovely turquoise goes beautifully with the lavender. Uh -huh. So that now gives me my outfit. And okay. there's gold in that jacket as well, isn't there? There's gold in that so jacket. So you would yeah, keep so the I gold shoes. Yeah. Nice. And then makeup wise, it's when you're wearing a lot of colors you don't suit, you then need to bring into it a lip color that will flatter it. So part of me is going to go towards this weird color, which I love, which is called Afric from the Sheer Shimmer and just bring a bit of that in. Mm. Like that. And then you can put it on your cheek because it's a lip to cheek. Sheer Shimmer, one of my favorite, favorite new releases we've got. Let's now just take a color of the season that a lot of people might be really scared of. And I'm gonna start with yellow. Okay. And yellow is a color that to me gives such vibrancy and life. I adore it as a color, but lots of people are very scared of it and what yellow they suit. Right. So I think yellow is really helped by white. It's verging on a mustard and it's not, it's not a bad yellow for that woman who diagnosed me once as autonomous and all. It's not bad, especially as I've got a lip on that's flattering to it, but it's not my best. So I'm gonna now put white underneath it just to show you. The white just helps it soften that depth of color for me. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of like that color with it. But I did then buy a yellow shirt, which was more a daffodil, which is not 100% my yellow either, but I put the two tones together and I wore it together. And I did love it. And the one thing that yellow does is if you have eyes that are blue or green, it really makes your eye color come out of it. Mm -hmm. So I did that those kind of you know, certain yellows can go together and certain really clash. Like I'd never do daffodil and strong lemon. Oh no. You know, um, and I'd never do daffodil, or I do daffodil and daffodil, there for sure. 
Um, and I wouldn't do chartreuse with a daffodil. Mm -hmm. So there's only very few lemons that can go together. Yeah. But when you're wearing this, you might think, how do you make it more wintry? So I'm actually, for the first time, trying something here, which I had these Stella brogues that I saw on Jo Elvin at You Magazine. She said to me, Trini, you will love them. And so I got them. Now this is black, but a leopard print. And I'm thinking, can I do this as a concept? I quite like it. Okay. I mean, it is black and there's the black in the suit and it's a tiny hint at the bottom. It changes the suit though, it makes yeah. it more wintry. Yeah. And then I might be inclined to get a leopard scarf mm -hmm. and put it over the top because yeah. you know me, leopard with leopard with leopard. Those colors actually are good together um, and I think work. And I'll probably have that done up like that. And then I feel it's become quite a wintry yeah. look and it's yellow still. And in a way, the brownness of the leopard you know, echoes the sort of brownness of the aubergine of the coat. Yeah. So, so that for me is a nice going into winter color blocking moment. Yeah, I love those colors together. Yeah. The thing is, the more color you buy, the more you can play with. But you need to start with colors you really love that mm -hmm. really suit you and just branch out like a little mushroom you know, and build little families around those little colors. But then what I would wear this with is a bit of pink. Yeah, I love that. You know, and that's lovely. And, and for that pink not to have to sit in a black coat, but sit instead in that plum, in that dark aubergine is much softer. So just to give an example of that, I will put that on with a black jacket and then with this to show you the difference, okay? okay. So now we're talking about burgundy and what color you can wear with it. So. These are some Victoria Beckham trousers. If I have that against the black, mm -hmm. I feel it's just very hard. Yeah. And so I kind of love it against that. It just think it gives it more color. This is me just from years of feeling that feeling. And then when I put on the coat, which is now actually the same color as the trousers, um, I, there's a brightness underneath, which is going to live through what that coat otherwise might do in taking away the color from my face. Yeah. And then I might go on my lip and I might head towards going quite pink to bring out the pinkness of the jumper. So I'm going to actually wear a bit of Dido sheer shimmer. And it warms up immediately what the burgundy has taken away from my face. Yeah. Knowing me, I might just say, hey, what about that with it? <laughs> um, if I wanted to sort of, you know, liven it up a bit. I think oh, yes. the texture, I think to break up the burgundy even more. I like that texture. And what shoe have you got on? I've got on a very plain burgundy um, shoe and I okay. do like a continuity, but when a trouser is this long, you could wear a black shoe and it wouldn't show. Yeah. But I want to show you another wonderful way to wear this color. Okay. Because it's something that I discovered this year. Ooh. This is something I only really grew up to this last year, which is to take powder blue and burgundy, colors that I hadn't thought would go together. But I had from three years ago, this shoe, which is just a mad shoe. I don't know if I can wear it for very long because it's so high, but it's an old Prada shoe. And I just saw, it's interesting that one could dirty up powder blue and how could we do that? So that then led me down this path and it really then brightened up the darkness of the plum. This is an old Zara jacket, and Zara, just to show you, they do do this color a lot, because every year I'll get something in this color. Tones are slightly different from the trousers because they're not from the same place, but it just allows you to see a different cut. It still works. It still works, and you know, if you're somebody who works in a corporate world and you wear black and white, consider the softness of that and what that can do. Mm. And, and in this instance, probably, I do need to bring back some strength to my face. Um, so I'm going to go to a slightly dark shade. I'm doing all shimmer shimmer because it comes out tomorrow. But I'm gonna go to Emily, which is just, it needs a strength of lip, but not like a bright pink. And it doesn't want a dark red because that would be too draining. So sheer shimmer has this shimmer reflection in it. And that's just such a perfect example of somebody who might wear a black suit every day. Yeah. It's not scary at yeah. all in yeah. any way. Yeah. And it's just, it's joyous. It is joyous. and Very chic. It's chic and also it's, feminine is a really difficult word to use, but when I wear black and white, I feel hard, so it's softer. 
That's what it is. It's just a bit softer. Yeah. And sometimes when you dress softer, you can get so much more done because people aren't quite so, you know, black and white can be very, I'm in black and white. Burgundy and powder blue can be, hello, I'm here, I'm strong, but what do you need? Yeah. You know, there's different messages to okay. close tape to uh, tell you. And I just want to say, yeah. your eyes, that blue, for anyone watching, you'll yeah. see that the blue is... Is a good colour. Yeah. yeah. I don't wear this colour often. I'd like to know, yeah. is there a limit to how many colours you'd put together? Yes, I think there is. I would kind of say I wouldn't want more than three fighting for space. Okay. Yeah, I think three is a magic number. Um, if you have a print, then, you know, like if you look at this print, this is an Erdem dress, and we just have this for inspiration, just to show how that sort of, you know, very dark purple looks so beautiful with orange and with red and with that fuchsia strong and, of, and with that green, that dark purple. Uh -huh. You know, and you look at something like that. So when you wear a print, you're obviously wearing about nine colours there. But there's a way when prints being done well, there's a there's a flow to those prints with it, which is exquisite, um, and shouldn't wear you. So when you when you buy a print, you've got to check out that you know how many of the colours in that print suit you. Mm -hmm. All right, and and because this palette is quite a muted palette, it's it's a mid tone perfect palette. It's got my favorite purple in, it's got a lovely orange, it's got the grays. So majority of those colors suit me. Um, if I take that, which is a new H&M for Erdem, it sort of does, but it's a little bit the green, too dark olivey green. There's quite a lot of that in that dress, so it doesn't pop. And I was thinking actually if I wear this dress, how could I wear it during the day with a shirt underneath? Oh. Um, and the shape of the dress I fell in love with, but the colors close up, not so much my colors, great on a, on a peaches and cream, blonde-haired, green-eyed woman. Uh, unbelievable colours. Right. Okay. Um, so I do look like that. If I look at that, you know, I don't wear many browns. Yes, because you were saying before they're yeah, not your... Yeah, and they're not really my colours. So when I wear this, I pop it with a very high white shirt. Yeah. Um, so this, if... this is a really old Prada. This is really interesting because Prada is very clever too with prints in a, in a different way from Missoni. But they've just taken... Beautiful. I mean, purple and olive green are such beautiful colours together. And that sort of aqua with purple, exquisite, and the fuchsia uh, raspberry with purple, uh, with, with the aqua. I mean, mm -hmm. that's an amazing inspiration there in that geometric print yeah. to see what colours. So you can go online and just, you know, if you don't have print dressed, just go online and look at them and study the colors together. It's a journey, you know, it's taken me, I'm, I'm many years old now, and it's taken me a long time to begin. And then still, I find a new color combination last week. So it's just glorious, because once you open your eyes to colors, once you say, you know, I love this color, or let's say you love, like, I love this blue, all right? I love this blue. But this blue doesn't go with a tremendous amount of things. It goes with denim, white, gray, boom. I love that yellow, I can do it with pink, I can do it with fuchsia, I can, actually, I might even do it with purple. Um, you know, I wouldn't do it with orange. So it's got actually more colors, yellow, oddly, these kind of bright yellows I wear with a lot of things. Then you can go down the other end of the spectrum. I mean, this is a lovely combination. This is a Celine scarf, but in it, there's the sort of grays and that lovely, um, sort of salmon color with the with the black and white. Beautiful combinations there. Small accent of the black, predominant gray. So when you wear salmon to wear with gray instead of black, beautiful. But that's cool toned. If you look at this whole thing in here, we've taken this coat from ASOS um, and it's got in it that very pale powder pink, but very cool toned and the gold. So I've taken a shirt, which is a sort of silvery gold because there's a real cool tone in that pink. And then that blush from the Zara jacket. But if you had trousers in that, which sort of echo, this is a beigey blush and that's a blush blush. Wearing those together, beautiful together. Mm -hmm. And imagine you'd kill it with black. Yeah. You'd just kill it. So if you were a, uh, a navy wearer, yes. how could you put color with navy? That's a really good one. Okay. And we'll save it for yeah. next time. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. These are like little soupçons. So next week we might go into navies, 
and red. So Great. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Wonderful. All right, ladies. Well, I, I think that's enough information to take in for one day. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you, see next, you time. next time. Bye. Bye.